Hello everyone, it's Megasen Fjord and today I'll show you how to root your Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge under this phone model. So let's head in. Okay, so the first thing that you will have to do is to download a few files. That is very important to have. So make sure that you have to check first of all the version of your software. So for that you will have to go to software information. This is Android 8.0.0 which is Oreo. And also make sure guys, one tip very important. So make sure you click multiple times on build, on build number until you see the developer mode enabled. So you will be able to see this and So this has to be enabled, click on that, make sure that you tick this OM unlock, this has to be ticked, then another thing that has to be working is USB debugging, so make sure that you tick it and click OK. So for now that's OK, for the phone you can put it aside. Now the most important thing to, to figure out is that you will have to download la the latest Samsung drivers, USB driver, and um, make sure that the CF root you download is 8.0.0. So prerequisites is download Samsung USB driver. So make sure you download that. So. I have all these files already, but just, just showing you how to do that. So you click yes. And once it's installed, you just click on. And so soon I'll show you. Okay, so the second thing that you have to download is Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge SM G935F CF auto root file. So that's important. Also, you have to download Odin, the latest Odin, because that's without that you will not be able to correctly and properly install and make root and whatever it takes. So once the download file is installed, you head in, you click, double click on that file, and you just wait for the you can see now USB driver for mobile phones, but as, as you can see, it's already been installed, so no need to install that. We just I just bypass that. Okay, so the second thing, Odin Flash. You actually can find it on many websites, but guys, I will show you first um, more interest, more important thing. It's actually once you download this. Um, and here guys, this is the link for SC fee root. So that make sure that you download that. Just very simply, you just click on download and it's just being downloaded. So it's very short, just save. Okay, so here, here we are, it's downloaded. So once everything is done, just what do you have to do next? You have to go into download mode. So you will have to turn off the device. Okay, great. So next you think you do, you click on down button, home button and power button. Simultaneously. Until you see this warning message. So to continue, you click volume up. And now you will have to use your official USB cable. So in this, this is not official one, but still it's working. So, and before plugging in, I'm just showing you how this is, um, I have several versions of Odin. So actually this is the newest one. It's 3.13.1 and you run in as administrator. Okay, so that's it for now and now I will show you, you will have to click, you have to join and you can see something has been added. So 
After you see that the device has been added, the next thing you do, you click on AP and then you search for this uh, downloaded file. Actually, I have downloaded it already, so this is image tar md5. Click on that. So until you see leaf cs and you see everything here, so don't do nothing, it's ready. So the next thing you have to do is just click start and I will just zoom out a little bit so that you will both see the phone and, and the computer. Okay, so here we are. Should be quite fast. Make sure this is, okay, now reset and it's already passed. So that's a good thing. So one part is done. There could be even few restarts. Okay. Again, restart. Okay, we can at least we can see Samsung. Oh, it's not finished. Okay, and it could be one more restart. Yes, which it is. So, already three I counted. Okay, but anyway, you see the pass, which is a good sign, at least, from the Odin part of uh, view. Okay. Wow. We see the super user application installed. That's a good thing to have. Well, that's very good. Okay, so next thing we can do, we can check the root check because previously it hasn't been rooted, so let's check it now. Okay, download pending. Also guys, um, I'm not installing now Twarp application. Uh, this will be very interesting stuff which I'll show you now. By Twarp, you will be able to flash any ROMs and do whatever you want, you know, stuff like that. I'm not sure, I don't know why it's not installing, so I'm checking another application, which is also a good one. Or I might... Okay, hold on. let's wait a little bit okay we can see the root checker has been installed okay we agree okay we agree okay so now verify root as you can see it's now been and the time is correct, it's actually 14, yeah, so it has been rooted. Okay guys, so now I will show you how to install the Twarp. This is application that is very handy, and I will zoom in, okay. So actually now you have to do, you have to reset, make sure you unplug the phone, and then you also have to, again, to turn it off. I'll do now and once again click down home and power button simultaneously okay great now click for continue and here we'll have to okay now we connect the phone so it has been added good now we search for AP and this is Twarp application which you will have to add in. Okay, that was pretty fast. Ok, 
Okay, so it seems to finish soon. Well, great, so that's finished. Go back, so we have a backup, and also we can restore that. I made two backups now, so. And now, in order to wipe something, you just click wipe the factory reset, and you just reset that. And if you want to install any ROM, you just click install, and that's very simple, you know. But with the wipe, I suggest you don't click any advanced wipe or format data. You just click here, you just swipe the factory set because it wipes data, cache, and Dalek, including internal storage. So that's important and that's what should be done. Okay, guys, so thank you for watching now. I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for more, more videos. Peace out. Okay, so the last thing you have to do now, you have to click start and okay, just hold on, just zoom out a little bit, okay, and you just click start. That's pretty fast. Okay, let's see what happens next. Okay, so this is the first boot up and it might be the last one. I mean, wow, that's pretty fast, pretty impressive. Okay, and I see a new app here as you hide. It's actually probably to, to hide super user or whatever. So that's the new, new thing. That they have now so you can see it's passed so this is the port information that you have to see okay okay that's okay guys so now you will have to install super user and not super user twerp official app Oh, wow, it is already. What I need to do only is to enable this time. Interesting. Wow, yeah, it is really here. So either go to Play Store or website. Okay. So now you can unplug the phone. Wow. You can also make an update. But in any case, if it's not even updated, so uh, for, for the now, you are able to go to, your, to bootloader. Just click power off. The next thing you're going to do is click up, home, in power button you hold on you hold it on until you will see it warp bootloader okay here we are so th the steam win recovery project 3.2.3-0 okay th so that's very interesting part and i suggest we make a backup of the system so swipe to backup okay it might take a while so I might make a pause of the video you will see okay I'm just pausing the video okay so that's about to finish soon